Rising from the banks of the River Hull, what's claimed to be one of the UK's most innovative green energy projects. Energy Works is still being built by an army of 350 contractors. It dominates the local skyline. 40 ton wagons covered over with, um, with fuel arrive here. The project will take household and commercial waste and turn it into electricity by burning its gases to heat water to drive turbines. It's a huge queue for Hull to, uh, to have a facility like this arriving on its doorstep and um, the actual combustion technology is with the first facility of its type in the, um, in the UK. And here's the challenge. At the moment, the UK is continuing to bury its waste in the ground and even export it to other countries. Energy Works will divert a quarter of a million tonnes of waste from landfill every year. Now, the technology here is state of the art because this plant has two broad aims, to dispose of waste in an environmentally friendly way and to extract every last drop of electricity from that waste. So this area here is we call the material pretreatment area. But the material feeding this plant will come here via hundreds of lorry journeys. Is that environmentally friendly? My view is that the waste would have been on a lorry anyway. We, we collect waste from people's homes using lorries. We transport it around the country using lorries for further processing. Uh, what we've done in terms of this facility here is, first of all, we've tried to cut the journeys as short as possible so there's no onward transportation. But, uh, but secondly, we put a lot of time and effort into the traffic management studies that underpin the planning requirements for the site. This £200 million project starts contributing to the national grid next April. An on-site Hull University research facility will help to develop further the technology that turns the stuff we throw away into electricity. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North at EnergyWorks in Hull.